Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my Blackathon TBR. I think I will participate in a very loose way in that. I know that there's prompts and these books will fit some of the prompts, but I will not go into the like different genre categories too much uh, because I like to read across genres. I thought I'd just show you the books that are on my immediate TBR that I would love to get to in February. I'm not quite sure if I will, but um, I will try to read as many of them as possible. And so you can have a bit of an idea what you will see on my channel in the next couple of weeks. So um, yeah, if you're interested in my TBR, then keep on watching. So for the SFF uh, challenges, we have a book that explores the duality of loyalty and betrayal, a book with trans spectrum representation, uh, a book between 312 and 387 pages and then there's a group book that I will probably not read because it's not on my TBR um, but I think for the rest of these challenges these books might work. I'm not quite sure how long they are, I haven't counted the pages yet but at least I think there's a trans character and I'm pretty sure there will be some betrayals and some loyalty in there as well since it deals with family and complex relationships relationships but I definitely this is my highest priority for uh, February wanna read the Broken Earth trilogy I will probably do a complete vlog about this I'm so 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 excited to finally have these books because yeah I've been meaning to read them for so long but then I always just put it off because I didn't own them and now I do so they are super high priority so then for the romance category, there is the prompt to read a romance between two black people. For that book, I think Open Water would fit. I got this one from the library and um, the cover makes me believe that this is a romance between two black people. I'm very excited to read this. It's very short, so I'm very sure that I will get to it as well. And it is um, very hyped, so I've heard only great things about this book. Now for the other three books, I don't really think there is a prompt that will fit them, maybe there is, but I have two historical fiction books I would love to get to. The first one I have already started, but I have only read 10 pages so far, and that is Conjure Woman by Afi Atakora, and I've talked about this before, but yeah, I have this checked out from the library for a month now, and I just want to get to it, because the first 10 pages were already so intriguing, and I'm really looking forward to this book. And then the other one is one that I have also meaning to read for month and month and that is Wild Woman and the Blues by Danny S. Bryce and this one is so so stunning if the content of the book is even a smidge as gorgeous as the cover I will absolutely love it so yeah this is one where I'm just so bummed I haven't read it before so this is also like super high priority for me right now and then the last one I am very much looking forward to and it is a short story collection. It is Blackout and this is Love Stories Glow When the Lights Go Out. And I think there's six stories by six authors of color in here. Um, authors like Tiffany D. Jackson or Andy Thomas, uh, Danielle Clayton, like well-known authors in the YA genre. So. Yeah, I really want to have this as a little, you know, snack book in between where I can read a story here or there. I think they all center around the same blackout, I think, in New York. I might be wrong. Yeah, it says New York City, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so I am really looking forward to this book as well. So that's the physical books that I have and that's already way too many. I will never read all of those in February. Unfortunately, I'm just not a fast reader like that. But um, I also want to try to get to maybe two audiobooks and I haven't really decided on them yet. I thought about starting um, uh, Black Girl Unlimited or the new book by, I think her name is Echo Brown. I just looked the author up and I already forgot. Um, but yeah, I thought about starting those, but I have like tons of options for books that I would love to read. 
There is also a new book by Bethany C. Murrow that I'm very much intrigued by. It doesn't have the highest ratings on Goodreads, but it is coming out on February 8th, so that might be an option for later in the month as well. I will keep an eye on that one. So yeah, lots of options. I'm very excited. As I said, the Broken Earth trilogy will be my absolute top priority and whatever else I can get to is like the cherry on top. But I'm very excited to read all of these book and I'm glad that my actual reading plans fit into this readathon so well so let me know if you're participating in Blackathon and if you're doing like one set of prompts if you're reading the group books which um, I decided not to do just because I want to read the books I already own um, but I think it's always fun to have group books for readathons as well so yeah check all of that out I will try to link some things down below so you can easily uh, access information on this readathon and I will talk to you soon Bye!